Girls who took notes using 50 different colored pens, where are you now? Do you still continue to write using all those colors? Am I allowed to answer if I'm a guy? Because I ended up becoming the Excel guy in my office. All of my spreadsheets are exquisitely color-coded. Formatting an Excel doc and making it look pretty is one of the most satisfying feelings in the world. The real trick is getting the conditional formatting juuist so. Then, when you enter new data, it's already color-coded. My grade 9 science teacher forced us all to do it. He said that by color coding everything you understood the material better because you had to think about it longer to color code it and understand what other things it was associated with. Not just zone out and go into transcribing mode. He also made us do end of unit study guides. They had to be color coded, a set amount of drawings, and unit words and definitions. The drawings were doodles based on things in the unit. He would mark them and hand them back before the test which was great because he knew if he needed to help us with something before we bombed the test. He was also a MMA fighter with cauliflower ears and not the type of guy you would expect to demand rainbow colored notes. Edit, there's a lot of people asking for examples so I'll make one up this afternoon. There's a PM at my company that does this. No idea how the hell she has the focus and time to take such detailed technicolor dream notes during meetings but I've never had a problem with getting any relevant info from her so macron backslash underscore underscore slash macron. Gotta respect note taking game like that. Technicolor dream notes is the best phrase I've heard all day. Josie in the astounding technicolor dream note. We all became bullet journalists. Certain law school prep guides teach you to take notes on court opinions using different colors. 90% of first year law students show up with four different color highlighters. By the end of the last year, few still use them. In legal practice I have developed color coding for notes of the cases I'm working on. I have not yet found a way to put a heart over the eye in my filings. Save that for any judge with an eye in their surname. You woo hello ito san. Underscore, look at my kawaii case file. Do you like donuts? I have some in my briefcase I can share with you. Ah. Oh look out. Don't get glitter on you. Oh, here, let me help. What's this? A new pen? For me? Bigiku. It's so big. You woo can I touch it? Underscore. I use different ink and highlighter colors to compensate for terrible ad. I work in a chemistry lab now. Sometimes I'll still use brightly colored pens to record my results for fun but I don't ever switch between color slash color code anything anymore. All the different colored ink slash highlighting helped me remember my notes come exam time. So now that I'm out of college, I don't need to switch between colors. I low key miss color coding and taking notes sometimes, though. I still color code based on class. Each class has a color. This color includes the folder color, the pen color, the sticky note color that the assignments are written on and placed in my planner on the date they are due. I also teach intro statistics to undergraduates, where I also color code parts of the equations and the values that get inserted to the equation, so the students can see where the numbers come from more easily. Edit it to change kids to students. That was a poor word choice on my part. Apologies, you're my favorite type of math teacher. All of the teachers who used color to help me learn math were the ones who actually got stuff to stick. I'm a medical lab technician. I took notes with a million different colored pens in college, up until two years ago. I graduated at age 41. Just bought myself a nice new set of gel pens. Real talk, multiple colors really helped me categorize and compress complex ideas into things I could remember. It helped a lot in understanding the material and studying for tests. I think they're teachers now, and yes, they still use all those colors. This, yes, we are teachers now and yes we use all those colors. I'm a guy though, this is the proof that girls who used color pens will eventually become a guy. I will never forget sitting in class and asking the girl sitting next to me for a pen, and she turns back to me with a straight face and says to me what color? Edit, this, blue up, thank you for the award, that marks my first, but hopefully not the last. I work in an office setting now and do still like to use different colored pens for things, if the situation allows it. I don't know if this will make sense to anyone else, but I love colors. I especially like the idea of colors being associated with ideas, personalities, names or themes. Oh, today is Monday. I think orange is a good Monday color. Pink is Friday. Green is Wednesday. I love how Windows 10 allows me to change the colors of tiles so that my computer seems more like me. I am constantly changing the colors of my Apple Watch face. I dunno. I think I have a problem. ETA, the thoughts and discussions being shared here have been very interesting and eye-opening. Thanks for the silver as well.
Smile I do just want to add that I am fairly certain I do not have synesthesia, I know someone that does and from my very limited knowledge of it, it isn't a voluntary association of colors like mine probably would be. I always automatically like to associate stuff with color or mood, but I don't know that it happens involuntarily. Think of what I do as more of what happens in the video game Persona 5, where each character has a color associated with them intentionally. I love that kind of stuff. My wife did this when we were in school and she still loves using multicolored pens for everything she can. She even uses her own pretty colors for writing in the labels for things at work. You can always tell work that was done by her from everyone else's. A true ray of sunshine. Edit. I told my wife about all the upvotes on this comment and she is thrilled about all the attention smile. Edit 2. 1.27 7pm. Thank you so much to both of the kind strangers who awarded this comment. Never thought it would blow up so much. The wife is happy smile. I work in IT, and yes, I still have all those colors and still use them all in my day planner. I am a med student now, also I am failing because I no longer have time to use fancy pens and prepare colorful notes for all my classes. I actually do. I'm now a professional scientist and it makes my lab notebook pretty, plus frankly often it's really helpful to have multiple colors. I also like having a bunch of colors for seminar speakers because it somehow keeps me more interested to choose a different color for a different speaker. Honestly though, the core reason is the main reason I enjoy multiple colors is because I often feel the secret to success against procrastination is negotiating with your inner 5 year old. Okay, you need to write these notes, but if you do you can choose what color to write them in. You might as well find a little happiness in the world where you can. Smile. Enjoying the content? Don't forget to like and subscribe. We put out new videos every day. While you're smashing that like button, here's a meme to entertain you. Unfortunately not allowed in the line of work I chose, so now I use 50 different colored post-it notes, improvise, adapt and overcome. I'm one of those girls currently in college, I don't do it because I'm organized or anything, I just fucking love buying pens slash markers and otherwise I can't pay attention to my notes. It's aesthetically appealing to me, which immensely helps encourage me to actually take notes. I have a few friends that do that, one of them is studying to be a doctor, move the colored pens to a tablet to easily switch colors, another wants to become a sign language translator keep forgetting the actual term, puts on a different color of gloves. Her lab coat is tie-dyed so I wouldn't be surprised lol. A guy classmate of mine did this, one of the smartest in the class, his notes were fantastic, he's an engineer now and has a great family life from what I see on his FB. Cool guy. Jason if you're reading this you rock my dude. I'm a high school English teacher and there's a big correlation between note taking skills and success in my classes, color coding notes definitely helps, wait what, teachers do approve of it. My teachers used to tell me I'd fail either high school and or higher education because I was wasting too much time on my colors. Edit, an autocorrect induced typo that apparently is telling beyond reasonable doubt that I don't know my grammar. Wrong, there is this thing in psychology called mind mapping and it relies a lot on colors. So it's a system that helps you, not other way around. I can vouch for that although I used it only for a year or so. They migrated to slash or slash fountain pens and use 50 different inks with 100 different pens now. I mostly write everything in purple now, but sometimes I use other colors and I like colorful post-it notes. I am working towards being a kindergarten teacher. Edit, slow down, if you want a copy, message me. Edit too, I'm sorry if I don't get to everyone, there's a lot you guys asking, hope you understand. Have a nice day smile, I color coded my notes. I have OCD and it makes everything feel neater and easier to flick through. If you want, I'll give my system as I found it to be very useful, maybe you will too. Oh, and I am currently unemployed but due to the recent birth of my son, James, I've been looking into job smile, or, an alternative way, I use black for titles and subtitles, as, for me, the title isn't that important, the dates are written in a subtle color, because the focus should be on the stuff below, I'm not focusing on the title, more on the definitions, keywords, diagrams, instructions etc. Blue is the most used, as that's usually what I use for simple stuff. Red is used for diagrams, definitions and instructions and research shows that red helps with more detailed information than blue. Also, red is cool. I highlight keywords in pastel pink because it looks pretty with blue and highlight in pastel orange because fire and shit. As for the summary, I write it in gray with a black border.
it's a lot but I mainly just focus on aesthetic more than anything. If you want, I'll give my system as I found it to be very useful, maybe you will too. I'm honestly very interested in what systems are used, because I've always wondered about that, really? Every time I've offered, it usually ended up with them telling me to fuck off lol. I'd be happy to lend it you, of course, if you don't mind smile. Sure do, I'm almost 35, in college, and still using multicolored pens. I paint for a living, so I switched from pens to paint. The gel pens were fun but impractical. I stick to basic ink colors because it's easier to read things with a strong contrast. But I have sharpies in every color because doodling is fun. I'm an engineer with dyslexia and ADHD. I took notes with tons of colors and still do now. The colors help me stay organized, keep track of numbers and not mix up information. I keep like with like categorically and have a whole notation system. A friend recommended I try it in college and it helped me go from C's to B plus and A's. I'm good at picturing notes and the colors help to guide my brain to the relevant information in my memory picture, if that makes sense. In all one color it just looked like a jumbled mess. Either way, yes I still use colored pens as a 30 year old adult engineer, woman shrugging. My cousin did this in HS, she is now a very organized and successful nurse. I went from being in school to be a grade school art teacher to stay at home slash homeschooling mom to now finishing up a graduate degree in computer science and have job lined up as a software developer. And yes, I still use all those colors, and Elflord and Vim because colors. And it's the easiest for me to read. I had a friend who used to do that. One of the smartest people I knew, she is married now and has a kid and is a stay at home mom. This reminds me of a girl in one of my college classes. It would be inaccurate to say she took notes, she took transcripts, she would write down everything in class, everything the teacher said, every quote from the book that we read, even every rabbit trail the class went down, she'd be taking meticulous notes, including asking students for their first and last name so she could attribute the quotes properly. Our midterm exam was a 10-page paper, she spent 30 hours on hers and got a 97%. I spent 2 hours on mine and got a 93%. I was much happier trading that 4% of my grade for 28 hours of my life. She probably got a lot more out of it than 4% of a grade, like, knowledge and stuff, the reason you're in class. That being said, I would probably also choose the 2 hour 93%. This isn't supposed to be snide. I just like to remind people that the point of classes is not to get an A. Bold of you to assume that's a girl only thing. I'm a guy, doing a master in engineering, uses four colors of pen red, blue, black, green, for all my life. This, marking up drawings, red for add, green for delete, blue for notes to drafter and pencil slash black for notes to self. Unfortunately most of my co-workers are stuck in their ways and only use red to mark up drawings. That's all well and good if this was 1990 and the drafter sat next to you. Unfortunately it's 2020 and the drafter is likely someone you've never met located in a different time zone. It's entirely on you if your drawing comes back with move this. Written in the middle of the page. Yup, yeah, homeschooling psalm here. I use one set of colors for my personal planner. Each person has their own color. Bills have one. Holidays and birthdays share one, family and community events have their own, and finally the animals have a color. School planning has another set for each subject. I knew a guy who would take color-coded notes in class, then immediately after class go through them and then do even more advanced color coding with added references and stuff. He was probably the hardest working and smartest guy I've ever known. And he grew up in a small village in Venezuela and now is a US citizen and officer in the Navy. Made me embarrassed that he is a better speaker in two languages than I am in one.